Hey, it's Jesse from Peach Manifesto, and today I'm going to show you how I display nail art in my salon. So I do have this big frame on the wall. I got this at Michael's, and it has that kind of chicken wire in the back. It came with a few of these clothespins, but I was able to find more of these mini clothespins at Michael's as well. So I'm going to ch I'm working to change this up. Some of the designs I don't really like anymore or I don't really want to do. So why advertise them? Now all these little tags you see are for Michaels as well. I usually pick them up on sale for really cheap. There's 24 to a package and they're just marked as tags by CraftSmart. Um, I have a few colors but today I'm going to go with something neutral. I also get my glue stick and my glue gun from Dollarama because it's really cheap and it works good. So my idea behind changing these all up is I want them to look more cohesive, like little sets. And I want all the tags to kind of more or less be the same. So things that I have been working on and taking classes on are things that I want to put up there because they are things that I want to do a little bit more. So in this case, I did a set of swirls and I did kind of like a little set of colors because you can also have a lot of fun with colors and I feel like some of my stuff up there is just kind of all the same color color so I kind of want to encourage my clients to try different things whether it be like the swirls or the crystals or just like see a really cute color combination so these are just some ideas that I've had like a lot of my clients have been inspired by things that they've seen on my on my wall on that big frame or on um, a little picture frame beside my desk which I will get to later and so I just line them up after I put the hot glue on. You really only have a second to kind of get them straight. But this is kind of it gives an idea of what a set could look like. And um, I think it looks really cute. I have my little extra tags, which I have a few that I need to put up on the wall as well because I feel like they're kind of hanging out. So I pop that right up on top. And like I said, I will be switching a lot of these out just to make them look a little bit more cohesive. Um, this is uh, from a Brill Bird class I did, and this is from a watercolor class I did. So this is the little frame I'm talking about. I switched out some of these as well. Um, I wanted to put in some of the bass reliefs, um, some spider gels. This one I tend to like to have as like more kind of quicker things or just really cool things that I like to do and so that just sits right across from my client and then I have one of my bookshelves that faces my client as well and that has a lot of swirls and kind of fun stuff as well I do need to switch some of that out uh, I like to also do up some seasonal ones um, just to kind of give people some ideas anyway that's everything thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and we will see you all later bye bye